It's time for Fin Freddy! Look at you happy dogs. We're gone to the snow dogs! Alright, for those of you that are new to this channel, I'm Jess, that's Memphis, this is Shelby, and that's Oakley, and today is Fan Friday. Fan Friday is a day where we answer questions submitted by you guys, the fans. To submit a question, all you have to do is leave a comment using the hashtag AskGTTSD with your question, and next week we just might answer one of your questions. Courtney wants to know how much does it cost monthly to own a husky? We actually did a video on the cost of owning a dog. I'll put a link up in the cards and down in the video description below to that video. Um, we did it a couple years ago so I'm sure the pricing is a little bit different now than then and I tried to give a realistic estimate of what it costs to own pretty much a dog. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link up in the cards and down in the video description below and uh, you can go check that out and learn how much it costs to own a dog. Quentin wants to know how often we shave the dogs. We don't. The last time any of them had any type of shaving done was when they had surgery. Oakley had her belly shaved and Shelby had next to her eye shaved. But do we actually shave them for any other reason? No, not at all. <laughs> You silly girl. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Our neighbor has a husky. I hear too many cars. Your boyfriend's down there singing, I hear him. <laughs> Vanny wants to know if we have an apple tree in our backyard. No, we actually have five apple trees in our backyard. <laughs> Kimberly wants to know how we fill in all these holes that the dogs dig in our sandbox. We pretty much just rake the dirt right back in the holes. Jamie usually will come out here with a dirt rake. He'll rake all the dirt back into the holes and kind of stomp around on it and that's about it. We don't really add any more dirt. Look at your dirty face. Look at that dirty face. We don't really add any more dirt to it or anything. That's just uh, how we do it. We do that probably about once a week. It kind of keeps the dogs digging in this area because um, once they get too many holes then they want to go dig somewhere else but as long as we keep filling it in they'll stay digging here. Oakley's like, I got the best spot, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Shelby's gonna dig dig that hole for you a little bit deeper. She's gonna she's gonna fix she's gonna excavate this a little bit more. <laughs> oh, you dirty dogs. Speaking of digging, Spanners wants to know how do you get the dogs to only dig in one place? Well, anytime they've dug somewhere else, we've pretty much one of the ways you can stop your dogs from digging is to bury poop in the hole. Are you gonna get that root? You almost got it. So if they would dig somewhere else, we would just bury poop in the hole and then they wouldn't want to dig there again. And then when they dug here, we didn't do that. And we never, you know, we always let them do it. We never said anything when they were doing it. And they, after not too long, figured out that this is the best spot in the world to dig. We also put the A-frame here so they would have shade and it keeps the ground cool right here. So they really like digging right here. So it's kind of like their own little fort, sandbox fort, I guess you could call it. Plus there's like roots here and they like digging at them and trying to pull them out. <laughs> Beefin asked, where do you get your slow feed bowls? The bowls that are on your floor that are shaped like a bone. I will put a link down in the video description below. It'll be an affiliate link to Amazon to where you can get the bowls. That's a slow feed bowl. Memphis and Oakley both use them because they eat too fast. A lot of you guys asked about that in the live show too. And I know many of you are new since we've done that video. We've done a couple different videos on slow feed bowls. If you want to go to our channel and search them, you can learn more about them. But I'll put the link down in the video description below so you can get your own slow feed bowl. I love them. I absolutely love them. They work awesome. We got some mail. We got some mail. And I don't think the dogs have realized it yet because they're like, oh, oh, mail? Oh, okay, hold on, me. Okay, let's get the mail. Bye, Memphis. We got a letter with a photo from Felicity and a book. And Felicity wants to know if anybody has ever mistaken our dogs for wolves in what we did. Um, I don't know if they're ever legitimately mistaken for wolves, but a lot of times when we're walking, especially when we're walking in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, where there are actually a good population of wolves, we'll get people that'll go, oh, look, a wolf. I don't know if they mean it or not. Most of the time it's younger kids, but we've had a couple adults think the dogs were wolves too. But like I said, I don't know if they actually believe it or not. <laughs> Sometimes they sound like wolves, don't you? <laughs> We got a letter and some drawings from Bryson, and Bryson wants to know, I'm getting my first husky, do you have any tips? Go back and watch all of the Fan Fridays we've done, 
there's tons of tips. We also have a, <laughs> you're still playing. We also have a uh, training playlist with a bunch of videos on how to train a dog that might help you. It's too early for this, girls. What are you doing, wrestling already? We got a letter from Horse Lover on YouTube and they want to know, have Memphis or Shelby ever gotten bloat? No, Oakley's the only one. And can you take the girls sledding this winter when it snows? Hopefully, yes. Hopefully it'll snow enough and we'll be able to do that. Hopefully we'll be able to take them sledding out at the farm and have our own trail and everything. You girls are nuts. You're crazy. Crazy dogs right here. <laughs> And we got a letter and a drawing from Rachel, and Rachel wants to know, what's the A-frame used for? <laughs> the A-frame in the yard is used for shade for the dogs and for agility. And apparently they're feisty this morning. All right, you guys, that's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you didn't do so yet, you can check out Monday's video, which was a recap of our visit to the Pet Expo, where the dogs got to meet a bunch of you guys. Uh, Wednesday, we did a live show, so hopefully you guys were able to catch some of that. If not, it's also on our channel, and you can go re-watch the entire hour-long live show. <laughs> Uh, and don't forget, we do have another YouTube channel. It is um, youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs, where we upload vlogs and more things in our daily lives. So if you want to see even more of the dogs, you can head on over there. All right, you guys, if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, look at that dirty face. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Do you hear that gunshot? I think there's hunters out in the woods. I heard that. I saw that you heard that too. <laughs>